Pecos, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Gang, gang, just a reminder, Laughing Buddha has classes. And you can do this. Free workshops and industry shows and new talent shows. Open mics. Number one in stand-up comedy. You know where these are, so I don't know why I'm announcing it. But I was told to announce it. So, with that being said, Norm, just in case, so you can get one on the way. Out. You can copyright. You can copyright this course. I don't think this is copyrighted yet. Um, all right. Next, coming to the stage. Very funny guy. And I like to think in my head that he's related to Macho Man Randy Savage. Mark Savage, everybody! <laughs> Macho Man's my brother, man. It's my brother. If you're uh, if you're in fucking sixth grade, what grade am I in? <laughs> my third grade field trip left without me, guys. It's not right. It's bullshit. But uh, yeah, I mean I'm 22 years old actually. But I get ID'd everywhere, guys. I get ID'd everywhere I go. I got ID'd at the movies the other day. To see Toy Story 3. <laughs> Did I miss Little Bo's peep show, you know? Did Woody get a buzz on and start fucking all the other toys? I missed that part, you know? But do you guys remember when you had a fake ID? Did anyone here have a fake ID at one point? <laughs> right? That's great. Mine was so bad, it looked like I got it at a bar mitzvah. You know, like they just took a picture of me, they put it on a card, put a bunch of fake information under it, had it laminated, and then on the back they put a stamp that said, I had a blast at Greg's bar mitzvah. <laughs> yeah, it also said I was a six foot in black, so imagine how much I got at the bars when I forgot my spray paints and my heels. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> Didn't really work out those nights, man, seriously. But um, I'm Jewish also, like 97% of the room, or 97 and a half, we'll run up to 98. Probably some halvesies here. And uh, you know, everybody's talking about Yom Kippur and the fucking fasting. I watched Temple on my computer the other day for Yom Kippur. All right, this is what technology's come to. I've watched it on my screen. You know, I bought the tickets on StubHub. <laughs> Reasonably cheap. Could have went with the scalper outside the temple and uh, gotten pretty close, but uh, I preferred stub up for my room. It was great. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, I'm sick. You know, everyone's like, you don't look Jewish. I'm like, you want to check my penis? <laughs> check my circumcision? Yeah, right? Like, oh, I'm like, sorry, I forgot my fucking horns today, you know? Like, how am I going to look Jewish? Doesn't make sense. But, uh, you know, I'm sick of them saying, you know, Jews are cheap. All right, we pay forty dollars a month on J Day to meet each other. Forty dollars a month—that ain't cheap, you know. Right? But um, you know, if J Day existed, I'd say like eight years ago, it would be a completely different website. It would be called J Hate. The owner and operator would be Hitler, and it would be like that to catch a predator show, you know, when they fucking lure you in to come to meet them in like a deli as the German army would just fucking swarm in and take us away. That would be J-8, circa 1920. 1920, I got one left. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, uh, I also noticed I'm getting old. This is like everyone's been saying, you know, I'm only 22, but I feel like I'm getting old. You know how you know you're getting old? When all of your friend's sisters, who are like six years younger than you, are now hot. <laughs> It's like they've been developing secretly, and then you're like saying to your friends, you're like, guys, how many years younger is she than me? One to two years, two to three years, three to four years, four to five years. And then you say, on the other hand, how many years in jail will it be? One to two years, two to three years, three to four years. You gotta decide if it's worth it, you know? But really, the only thing you can do in this situation is you gotta put the girl in your farm system. You know, you gotta treat her like she's a minor league fucking baseball player. You don't wanna lose her, you gotta put her in the farm system. So you gotta wait till she develops, you know, wait till she develops. <laughs> she gets a couple of at bats, you know, you don't wanna get herpes. And uh, you gotta wait till she learns how to catch. It's an anal, anal reference, guys. Get it? Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, you gotta also hope she gets some ball control. You know, she needs that ball control before you bring her up to the major leagues. You fucking hit a home run with her, you know? Yeah, yeah you gotta 
I'm sick. I think of my friend's sister. That's weird. I'm fucking weird. Have you guys ever been to Motel 6, by the way? Motel 6, you guys been there on a date? Their slogan is, we'll leave the light on for you. Right? Their slogan is, we'll leave the light on for you. How big is that fucking electric bill? Seriously. And with the girls you're bringing back to Motel 6, you're going to want the lights off. Trust me. These are not the kind of girls you're going to want to see. The only mint that's going to be on your pillow, guys, is one that's walking away from you as you get closer to it. And it may or may not have a tail. <laughs> I'm Mark Savage, guys. Thank you very much. Man, savage. Woo! All right, ready for more? Yeah.